one knee touching me now than four years ago when I started. I'm not quite sure when I'll strike again. So the Ripper has kept his chilling promise and struck again, in the heart of Leeds where his brutal killings began five years ago. He once spoke of a vendetta against prostitutes, but this 13th killing, like the last one, was directed against a student. 20-year-old Jackie Hill, a girl described by detectives today as perfectly respectable. She'd been walking on Monday night down the quiet road which led for a few hundred yards from the main road to her hostel. Today, detectives confirmed her as a victim of the Yorkshire Ripper and once again said they were sure someone must know him. And today, fellow students from the same hostel spoke of their fears. It just really brings it home to you when it happens in your doorstep and it's an incredible shock because it could have been any of us, you know. I felt pretty safe just coming upon the road from the, from the main road there, but now this has happened, it's, you can't even feel safe just coming up that road. And... Do you make a point of staying in at night? Yes, yeah, I do. Most of the girls who lived in the block with Jackie Hill have already left, taken away by their parents. And police here are continuing to warn all women that they're now in grave danger. For they're sure that the Ripper will carry on killing until he's caught. This latest murder, though, has taught them one thing. They're now convinced that the Ripper lives and works in Leeds because of his detailed local knowledge. And that's why they're especially worried for the women in this city. Ken Reese, ITN, Leeds.